the United States has a fascinating history. Over the years, investigators have managed to unearth some of the more questionable things that the US has done. It's this history that's led to some wanting more answers. It's only when you start digging around and researching some of these investigations that you learn that truth is stranger than fiction. In the past few years, countless declassified documents have been leaked online, the majority of which have been done under the radar, which is interesting in itself. Amateur researchers though have spent countless hours looking through these old documents, and although some of them outline things that are not of interest, some are real eye-openers. One of the most interesting ones that was released through declassified networks, via a Freedom of Information Act, was a file that detailed that the United States government had spent taxpayers' money researching things like wormholes, cloaking devices, high-energy weaponry, and also stargains. Just these documents alone revealed that 30 secret government projects were funded. The document details the following. Unclassified for officials only. Number 1. Inertial electrostatic confinement fusion. Number 2. Advanced nuclear propulsion for manned deep space missions. Number 3. Pulsed high power microwave technology. Number 4. Space access hypertech. Number 5. Advanced space propulsion based on vacuum. Number 6. Biosensors. Number 7. Invisibility cloaking. Number 8. Traversable wormholes, stargates and negative energy. Number 9. High frequency gravitational wave communications. Number 10. Role of superconductors gravity research. Number 11. Anti-gravity for aerospace applications. Number 12. Field effects on biological tissues. Number 13. Aerospace propulsion. The document carries on up to 38, detailing warp energy and dark energy. One that stood out to researchers was the metamaterials for aerospace application. As mentioned in previous videos, metamaterials are described as materials that have been left behind by unidentified flying objects. To the Stars Academy said the following on their Twitter account. To the Stars Academy has acquired multiple pieces of metamaterials that were reported to have come from advanced aerospace vehicles of unknown origin. We're enthusiastic about its potential use and how it can further our mission for discovery and innovation. Stephen Aftergood, director of the Freedom of American Scientists, said the following about the report. I think anyone who looks at these titles will scratch their heads and wonder what on earth the Defense Intelligence Agency was thinking. These are the kind of topics that you pursue when you have more money than you know what to do with. Another researcher said that the United States government has been researching these topics for a while now, and that the US is making breakthroughs in interstellar travel. One of the things that frustrates people about these discoveries is that the government will happily spend taxpayers' money, but then won't detail their discoveries to the people, which many find unfair as they're the ones who are funding these projects. Also, as some amateur researchers have pointed out, these are only the projects that we know about, and there's likely hundreds that we're not aware of, and that will never reach the masses. It's expected that there's many documents that are similar to this floating around on the internet, but one of the issues is finding them. Back in 2017, around 13 million pages of declassified documents from the US Central Intelligence Agency were uploaded online. One study that stood out for some was that of Project Stargate. Back in the early 1970s, it was said that the Soviet Union had begun spending tens of millions a year on the study of psychic abilities and remote viewing, the ability to see locations far away via astral projection, on a project known as psychotronic research. In fear that the Soviet Union had learned of a new form of spiritual technology, 
the United States quickly funded and established Project Stargate, of which had the express purpose to also study the remote viewing phenomenon, and using psychic soldiers as a method of retrieving information from different places, without actually being present there. Research into remote viewing would begin back in 1972, at the Stanford Research Institute, located out of Menon Park in the state of California. The lead researchers Russell Targ and Harold Puthoff required a minimum accuracy of greater than 65% before an individual could be accepted into the research study, with claims that many of the participants far exceeded this percentage, but were not always 100% accurate with their guesses. Shortly after the project began, the team was able to locate a lost Soviet spy plane, and this was by psychic participant Rosemary Smith as well as additional claims of recovered POWs and high-value targets. By 1995, however, given the advancements made in satellite and surveillance technology, Project Stargate was cancelled under the Central Intelligence Agency administration that believed the project to have been nothing more than a scam to receive fundings, with claims that the accuracy behind the group's findings were attributed to independent detective work done outside of the research group's efforts. Despite this, there's many that believe the project did carry on, and that even in the modern day this technique is still used. Although topics like this sound far-fetched, we have proof that they exist, and that the government agency had enough belief in them to throw hundreds of millions of dollars at the projects. We will never know the outcome of what happened during these trials, or what happened to the people involved. One of the issues people have is trust, the general public has been asking government officials about these projects for decades now, and every time they've been asked they've been denied that they ever happened. Yet it turns out all along these types of projects were being looked into. This is the main reason why people have a hard time believing officials. Some have even said that they doubt that the majority of these projects ever stopped in the first place, saying that the more likely explanation is that they were just renamed under a different project and that they are still likely being researched today. So what do you make of the document that details that the US spent millions on wormholes, cloaking devices, high energy weaponry and stargates? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.